All right, well, my buddy, um, Gem Jedi 1972, sent me a little something, something. This is from Vapors Tech in Grove, Oklahoma. VaporsTech.org. We'll check that out when I'm done here. I'm really serious about packing this thing up. Monkey shine. So, get out of here. Um, Vapors Tech, Monkey Shine, 60 PG, 40 VG, 22 milligrams of nicotine. Got the ingredients on there. So, let's check this out. Alright, what's the website? Doesn't really have a description on it um, uh, so it's 15 bucks for a 30 mil bottle like this one so first off thanks Gem Jedi 1972 and let's give her a check ooh that really nice I fell on four. Anyway. Let me blow up all the excess flavor in from the last juice. Go and put a good amount in there. Oh, you can definitely tell that's 22. <laughs> you got a good throat hit on that bad boy. Um, hmm. Is that an interesting flavor? <coughs> oh, man. 22 is harsh. I thought I was a hardcore for smoke for vape at 18. Yeah, I'm not really picking up. I mean, I'm getting like a little banana, maybe. It does have a good flavor to it, though. I will, I will say that. But it's got, I'm thinking banana, maybe. I'm kind of vibing a banana-ish flavor in there. Um, that's a good flavor, though. Well, not bad. I do think a 22 is a, a smidgen high for me. I'm a little shocked by that, actually. Yeah, we're going to give it a couple of days in the humidor. See how it does. Um, and also, got a question from Gem Jedi 1972 um, We were talking on Facebook, and I think it was Facebook. Might have been YouTube. Facebook, YouTube, one of the two. And he talked about how he got the E-Leaf e -leaf, um, eye stick. And I went with the Hannah over that one. 
And one of the reasons because I can go sub ohm on this. And you want to know what is sub ohm and what is dripping. So, to answer the question, first off, let me grab a bottle of juice real quick. Alright. Um, sub ohm. Ohms are what the resistance of your coil is measured in. So, to kind of put it simply, um, let's just say one watt at one ohm your coil will be at 100 degrees. So if you have a 2 ohm coil, it's going to take 2 watts to get that 100 degrees. Now if you're at a half an ohm, it's going to take half a watt to get that 100 degrees. So the lower in ohms you go, the hotter your coil can be at the same temperatures. And basically, you mainly can do this in RDAs, which is what this device, or this piece right here is. This is a rebuildable dripping atomizer. But this one's a little funky, so I'm going to get a better one to, to show you. And you mainly use these on mech mods. You can use them on other devices, too. But, so, you can, these right here, these are your actual coils. The light gooey stuff is cotton, and basically when you fire it, it heats up and vaporizes the juice. Now, two benefits. One, better flavor. You get so much better flavor off of a RDA than you do out of a tank, in most cases. So, that's just one benefit of going sub-ohm is that you can use less power to get better performance. Now dripping is called, when you're doing this, it's mainly called dripping because this is how you refill. You're actually dripping the juice right onto there. Now one of the kind of benefits is you can do this. Whenever you're blowing, whenever you see people blowing clouds, most times they're going to be using an RDA. Um, one of the disadvantages is, like I just showed you, you got to keep dripping. So I might be able to get five or six um, drags off of this. Before I got to put more juice on there. Versus the tank. You can go a couple hours on a tank. Um, um, another thing about ohms, I have to do something real quick, so hold on. My battery, my other battery's dead, so I had to switch it out. If I put this tank on here, you see it's got 1.6 ohm coil. my paper ready so I can write this down. So 1.6 ohm coil. By the way, that is the symbol for ohm. And I'm gonna bet you know, vaping at seven watts. And it's putting out 3.4 volts to give me that seven watts. Not bad performance. I can actually go a little bit higher. Now, if I put this RDA on here, at 0.4 ohms, And again, 7 watts, I'm using 1.7 volts. So you can see I'm using a lot less voltage to get that same 7 watts.
Now you can also, when you got river voltage and stuff, I can crank this thing up to 30 watts. Now I'm using 3.4 volts. <coughs> so there's kind of one of the little thing about ohms. Um, as long as you're using tanks, you really don't need to really be that whole lot concerned about ohms. Um, you can get sub-ohm coils and put them in your tanks. So, if you want to go that route, you would think you can. So, hope that answers your questions. If you have any more, go ahead and ask me. And, yeah, I'm going to give the, the juice a couple days in the humidor. And... We'll go back to you. Alright. The Vapors Tech Juice Monkey Kind Flavor. Sits to be courtesy of Jam Jedi 1972. Been in the humidor for about a week. Yeah, about five days. Still getting off a little bit of banana. Um, a little bit of a spice, like nutmeg or something, maybe. Not bad, really. Actually, pretty. Um, it's pretty good juice. It does have that unusual um, spicy nuttiness to me, though. But it's not bad at all. So I'm going to have to throw this into a tank to see how she does her tank. Um, I'm actually going to do that right now. I just got a new coil in this tank right here. I'm going to have to break that down. It'll take a little bit that needs to soak up in there. But, so we'll give this a try in here for a while. I think it'll put, put you right there for now. So we'll forget what you're in there. Um, so yeah, website that he bought that from, uh, vaporstech.org. The old www thing in front of that, by the way. Um, so go check them out, and again, Gem Jedi 1972, thank you, and actually I want to show you something real quick, because I know you talked about uh, sub-ohm, um, went to the vape shop the other day, picked me up a little something something, the Aspire Nautilus, I think, with the sub ohm coils. And a new drip tip. So this is 0.5 ohm coil in a tank. So you can do stuff like this. And again, at 30 watts, it's pushing out 3.9 volts. That's all, that's all it needs to get that 30 watts out of there. So, you can go sub-ohm in tanks. You don't have to go the RDA route. Um, I was told that the coils for this are 6 bucks a pop.
but it's a pretty nice setup. Adjustable airflow. So you can go from a little bitty dot like that up to full bore. So if I put it all the way small, open it all the way up. If you do decide to get something like this, I would suggest you treat it as an RDA, as the juice, um, as far as the um, nicotine content, because you are getting a lot more. So, like if you put, I'm pretty sure if I put 6 milligrams in here, it's going to cause me to hack up a lung. So, 